It's me, Mika, and today I'm at the El Sereno Community Garden in Los Angeles, California. Here, people come together from the community to practice gardening together. Oh, I bought some food scraps from home to compost. Have you ever composted before? <laughs> That's sort of like when you recycle to protect our earth. Mm -hmm. And the best part, we get to go digging in the dirt. Ready? Come on, let's go. Whoa, look at these colorful signs. Oh, they're greetings in different languages, welcoming us to the garden. Aw, oh, thank you, signs. It's a pleasure to be here. Wow, check out all these plants. <laughs> there are too many to even count. And look, they're all in the dirt. That's where they get their nutrients, from the soil. Do you know what other nutrients plants need to grow? That's right, sunlight and <sighs> fresh air and lots of water. You can water them yourself or sometimes when it rains, they get plenty of water so you don't have to. Oh, plants need lots of space to grow too. Oh, this garden looks very spacious, which means there's plenty of space for plants to grow. <laughs> okay, friends, let's keep exploring. Hey, I'm Mika, nice to meet ya. Hi, Mika, I'm Erica. Welcome to the El Sereno Community Garden in Otsunga, the place of the roses. Nice. In the Tangba language, can you say Otsunga? Otsunga. Nice. <laughs> uh, are you here to compost? Yes, I am. Perfect. I have my eggshells and my avocado and my banana peels. Excellent. <laughs> uh, let me show you Great. Uh, what to do. And on the LA compost method of uh, composting, there's three boxes. You uh -huh. add. Uh, your food scraps here, and then you put a layer of browns, uh, which is dry leaves or mulch, mm -hmm. on top of your kitchen scraps, okay. which are your greens, mm -hmm. even though the banana's not green. <laughs> but, no, those but, are yellow. <laughs> <laughs> and so you put greens and browns, greens and browns, and you make sure the brown layer stays on top. Mm -hmm. And then once it gets filled, you move it to the next one, and then you shift it and add water, and then you move it to the next one, and then you shift it, and you add, add water. water. <laughs> and then at the end, it looks like this. Whoa, check it out. So the compost pile, when it's ready to sift, mm -hmm. you look, if you look inside, there's bugs and worms and oh. roly polies. Oh, yes. And everywhere. What do the bugs do? They decompose the soil, the matter, the brown matter, oh. and make it into fertile soil. Mm, decomposing means you break something down. So once it's finished breaking down, uh -huh. we take a handful and we bring it to the sifter. And then the, the sifter, you take out the big brown things that don't fill through the holes. Mm -hmm. And then you keep the worms. If you find any worms, uh -huh. you uh, put them back. Oh, put them back. Hello, Because worm. they're our friends. <laughs> and then we put them back in the soil so they can continue making soil. And the, the one that's sifted that goes through is ready to plant, to plant new plants. Oh, awesome. I'm gonna go plant on the other side of the garden. You wanna join me later when you're finished composting? Sure. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Okay, here I go. Our earth is a wonderful host. I love to help her through compost. We'll compost this and we'll compost that with some food and plant scraps. Whoa, awesome. Okay, let's head over to this big pile of dirt. Scoop up some dirt and maybe some worms too. Okay, three, two, one, sift off. Sift, sift, sift. Oh, check out these worms. Did you know earthworms have taste buds all over their bodies? <laughs> Okay. Wow, 
Wow! Let's go find Erica to see if she needs help planting. <gasps> I've got it! Let's wiggle over like a worm. Ready, worms? Here we go! Wiggle, wiggle, squish, squish! Hi, Erica! Hi, Mika! <laughs> what are you planting? I'm planting some hummingbird sage, some narrow leaf milkweed, and some lettuce. Oh, I'd like to help. Yes. Did you bring the compost? Oh, yes. It's right here. Perfect. You're going to need it. <laughs> so you make a hole about the size of the roots and the size of your fist. You take the plant out of the pot and be careful with the roots. Look at that. Oh, look at all those roots. And you plant them nice and gentle in the hole. And then you give a nice warm hug with the compost. There we go, little plant. These are for the pollinators. Oh, I know what that is. That's when certain animals fly from plant to plant. The pollen gets on their body, then they fly to the other plant, and it helps the plants grow. Do you know what kind of animals are pollinators? That's right. Buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> Bees and hummingbirds and butterflies and bats too. That's right, and you want to know what else is a pollinator? I'll give you a hint. They're red and black. Can you guess what a pollinator is? Ladybug? That's right, look, there's one right here. Oh, look at that ladybug. So sweet. <laughs> Did you know ladybugs are male as well? Mm -hmm. Despite the name, they're male and female. In you go. Thank you. How about here? Now that I'm done planting, I'd like to try something else. Oh, can we harvest? Yes, you can. You can harvest whatever is ready and ripe. Ready and ripe, got it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh. I have a plan. Let's gather up some fruits and vegetables for a salad. Oh, these would be great. Check it out. These are Filipino limes. They're ready when they're yellow instead of green. <laughs> okay, lime, let's go. Here we go. We have two limes. <laughs> Ooh, flowers. Wow, look at this tree. Wonder what it is. Oh, I know. It's guava. <laughs> you can tell a fruit is ripe if it falls to the ground. That means we're ready. <laughs> Get some guava for our salad. Mmm, that smells good. Okay, let's find some more food for our salad. Yum! Cocoa plum. Let's pick one for our salad. Oh, look, it's so little. And it's one of my favorite colors, purple. <laughs> Check it out over here. Oh, I see another fruit. <laughs> Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's a watermelon. Wow, I've never seen one this small before. This will be delicious in my salad. Ooh, an orange tree. But these oranges aren't quite ready. You know how I know? <laughs> yeah, they're still green. Not ripe yet. Okay, oranges, I'll see you later when you're ready. <gasps> Look! A really big cactus. This can go into a salad, but no thank you, cacti. I think I'll move on. Yummy! Strawberries. Should we put strawberries in our salad? <laughs> yeah! One strawberry, two strawberries. Hmm. Oh, check it out. Kale. I would like some of this for my salad, too. <laughs> I know. 
Let's Make a Salad for Erica to thank her for showing us this lovely garden. Here we go. Hello, Erica. Hi, Mika. We made you a delicious salad. Yummy, what's in it? We have watermelon and guava and strawberry and kale. Yummy, I'm gonna <laughs> have it for lunch. <laughs> Mika, can you help me with one more thing? Yes, I'm happy to help. I need to spread seeds out uh, so we can uh, harvest some flowers. This is Arroyo Lupin. It's beautiful purple bloom. Mm. Oh, that's one of my favorite colors. Now, when we spread the seeds, we have to sing to them, twinkle, twinkle, little star, because we believe the seeds are the stars of the earth. Oh. Can you help me? Yes. Perfect. Roll out your hand. I'm gonna give you some seeds. Thank you. And we'll get seeds and we'll start singing and wishing them love. You ready? Yes. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Oh, that was Thank so you, fun. Thank you, Mika. Thank you. Yes, you're Come so back welcome. anytime. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. 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 That was awesome. We did a great job composting with those worms, planting in a garden, and harvesting some yummy fruit and vegetables for a salad. What a great, beautiful day. I hope you had fun too. <laughs> Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> okay, friend, see you later. Bye-bye. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. Do you know what's inside of this museum? All different kinds of animals and dinosaurs. And I heard that they have one of my favorite dinosaurs, a T-Rex. Do you know what a T-Rex looks like? I have one in my jam pack. Whoa, here it is. <laughs> hey, will you come with me and see if we can find a T-Rex inside? Let's go. Whoa, I'm in side of the museum. I can't wait to find the T-Rex. Whoa! That is definitely not the T-Rex. Do you know what that is? It's a blue whale! Oh, and look, I see a bandage on that whale. <laughs> Even whales get boo-boos. Did you know that the blue whale is the biggest animal on the planet? <laughs> it's so cool! <laughs> oh, I see someone over there who works at the museum. I bet they have more whale facts. Come on. Oh, hi. Hello. I'm Mika, what's your name? Alexandra. Hi, Alexandra. So I bet you know something about the blue whale. Yes. You do, what do you do here? I'm an educator. Oh, an educator, so yeah, you definitely know. Um, what do blue whales eat? Blue whales eat tiny krill. Whoa, look at these tiny shrimps. Can you believe a big blue whale likes to eat these tiny little shrimps? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, well, do blue whales have teeth like us? No, they don't have teeth. They have baleen. Baleen? Oh, whoa, feels like straw. Can you imagine if you had straw in your mouth instead of teeth? Ugh, <laughs> so how do they eat? They open up their mouth. Okay. Very, very big. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. They take a cup of water, <gasps> put krill in it. Mm -hmm. Then they push the water out with their tongue. And what's inside? The grill. Mm. Mm. Cool. <laughs> that seems really complicated. That is not how I eat at all. Wow. And what is that? It looks like a big bone. This is a part of the well vertebrae. The vertebrae. Well, mm. we have those. You can yeah. feel it in your back. Yeah. Can I hold it? Yes, sure. Whoa. Oh, this is so heavy. Look how big this is. Ours are so tiny. Blue whales are huge. <laughs> okay, here, I'll give that back to you. Wow, well, thanks for sharing those facts with us. 
I'm gonna keep exploring, but maybe I'll see you later. See you later. All right, awesome. <laughs> Come on. Where is the T-Rex? Where, where is the T-Rex? Whoa. That is not the T-Rex, but it is a very large mammal. Do you know what it is? It's a walrus. Oh, not a real walrus, this is just a model. But this looks pretty much exactly like a real walrus. Whoa, do you see those big tusks? They're made out of ivory and they're really strong and really sharp. And that one looks like the size of my arm, maybe even bigger. Look, can you imagine if you had something that big hanging out of your mouth? Could you even find a toothpick big enough to clean that thing? <laughs> they can use them when they're in the water to poke into the ice and pull their bodies up. Very helpful. <laughs> Will you act like a walrus with me? Okay, get your tusk out. <clears throat> Let's keep looking for the T-Rex. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Walrus out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> you're so funny. That's why you're my favorite. That is why you are my favorite dinosaur. <laughs> oh, hey. I'm still trying to find the T-Rex, but I don't see any dinosaurs anywhere. <laughs> Let's keep looking over here. Maybe we can find something. <gasps> Whoa, gorillas. <gasps> gorillas are super cool. They're really big, they're really strong, they're hairy. They can stand up tall just like humans. But the male gorilla is 10 times stronger than a human. That's Pretty strong. <laughs> Will you act like a gorilla with me? All right, let me see your muscles. Pound your chest. Let's keep looking for more animals. Whoa, yeah, I feel strong just acting like a gorilla. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. See in the back there? A giraffe. Giraffes are so tall. They can get up to 18 feet tall. That's Really, 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 really tall. And they have super long black tongues. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Do you know what that animal is? That's right, a zebra. Zebras are awesome. They have black and white stripes and a group of zebras is called a dazzle. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Check out that dazzle of zebra over there. <laughs> They run super fast and they can run in zigzags. Will you zigzag with me? All right, let's go. Run in zigzag. <laughs> Whoa, elephants are so big, so they have to eat a lot of food. Actually, most of their day is filled with eating. They're herbivores, so they're vegetarians. They don't eat meat. Oh, and look, big tusks, just like those walruses. <laughs> hey, will you act like an elephant with me? Get your trunk out. Ready? <laughs> Maybe you can stomp like an elephant. <gasps> big cats are lions. I love lions because they have really big roars. Kind of like the T-Rex. <laughs> See that one with the mane, all of the hair? That's a male lion. That's how you know, because it has a mane. The other lions that don't have manes are females. And a group of lions is called a pride. <laughs> I still don't see any dinosaurs though. Will you keep looking with me? All right, come on. Wow, we're in the dinosaur room. There has to be a T-Rex here, right? That means yes. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Oh, there's a dinosaur over there. Ah, oh, long tail, lots of teeth, but that's pretty small. A T-Rex is way bigger than that dinosaur. It's almost as little as this toy dinosaur. Hello. <laughs> hmm. Oh, look at this dinosaur. Whoa, it has a long neck. Its head is going back really far. Oh, I wonder if it's a dancing. 
<laughs> nice moves, but not a T-Rex. Hmm. I can't see the T-Rex anywhere. Do you see a T-Rex? Looks like this, big head, so many teeth, really big talons. <sighs> dinosaur. Whoa, look how big the head is. See those big jaws with tons of teeth? Wow, they're so sharp and there's so many of them. Did you know that the T-Rex could have up to 50 to 60 teeth in its mouth? That's a lot of teeth. <laughs> Whoa, you can see the whole body of the T-Rex. The head, the ribs, the big legs, the big feet. Roar! Roar! Oh, hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Mika. What's your name? Hi, my name is Alana. Hi, Alana. What do you do here? I'm a museum educator. Whoa, a museum educator. So you must know a lot about dinosaurs. I do. Oh, cool. Well, I'm really excited because my favorite dinosaur is the T-Rex. I really like the T-Rex also. Oh, yeah? Well, yeah. what's one of the reasons you love the T-Rex? I like the T-Rex because it was one of the biggest predators. Wow, I know. It's very cool. The T-Rex is huge, has a really big head and legs and a really big tail. You know, they use that big tail to help them balance. Oh yeah, that's right, because their heads are really heavy, right? Really big heads. Yeah, so the tail helps them balance. Like that. You know what else I like about the T-Rex? What? Look at this big foot here. Whoa, is this a real foot of a T-Rex? This is a model. Okay, okay. But this is like an exact replica. Yeah, you can see how big it was. Whoa, am I allowed to touch it? You can touch it. Okay. Wow, look at these toenails. <laughs> They're so big and pointy. So they had three big toes uh -huh. on their back foot. You know what else I like about the T-Rex? What? How big their teeth were. Oh yeah, they have really big teeth. Look at this. <gasps> Whoa, look how big this tooth is. This is a model of a real T-Rex tooth. Wow, can you imagine if your teeth were this big? Look, is it the same? <laughs> That's really big. What do you think they might have liked to eat with a tooth this big? Oh, probably meat, yeah. right? They were carnivores. Oh, so they were meat eaters. Cool. Right. And what's this? It looks like a big rock. It is a rock, except it's a very special rock. Oh, why? This is a fossil of a dinosaur bone. A real dinosaur a bone? A real dinosaur bone. Would you like to touch it? Yes, please. It's heavy. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see. Okay. All right. It's a little heavy, but it's a real fossil of a dinosaur bone. That's amazing. And what part of the dinosaur is this? That was from their leg or their thigh bone. Oh, so like <laughs> down here. Right there. Wow, that's amazing. Thanks for sharing this with me. Yeah. So is the T-Rex the biggest dinosaur? It wasn't the biggest dinosaur, but this museum has a model of one of the biggest dinosaurs. What, can we see it? You wanna go see it? Yeah. Let's go. All right, come on. Wow. <laughs> This is called a titanosaur. Titanosaur, wow, it's really cool. So the titanosaur family was a group of dinosaurs that were sauropods and herbivores. Oh, I know what a sauropod is. That means it walked on four feet. That's right. Ooh. <laughs> and an herbivore means that it was a plant eater. That's right. Yeah, very neat. Now this titanosaur is over 120 feet long. Whoa. Or 37 meters, <laughs> that's and, really long. And it weighed almost as much as 10 elephants. Whoa, 10 elephants, that's very, very heavy. Wow. But you know what's cool about this one? This one was just a juvenile, which means it's kind of like a teenager. Whoa, so it's not even fully grown? It gets bigger than this? It does. Wow, that's incredible. Thank you so much for showing me this, showing me this titanosaur. I had fun with you. I have to go teach a class. Oh, but I'll see you soon. Okay, see ya, thanks again. Wow, what a fun.
fun day. We got to see so many cool animals like the big blue whale and walruses and lions and we got to see my favorite dinosaur of all time, the T-Rex. <laughs> Did you have a fun day? <laughs> Me too. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to have more fun and see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> all right. We'll see you next time. <sighs> It's me, Mika, and today I'm at the Kennedy Space Center in Merritt Island, Florida. Look, I'm even wearing a space suit because I'm going on a very special space mission. My plan is to experience a spacewalk, experience landing and driving on Mars, and going to Mars space. But it's all simulation style, which means I'm not really going to space, but it's sure gonna feel like it. Will you come with me? Oh, let's go! Hey! Hi! Who are you? I'm Daniel. Oh, hi Daniel, I'm Mika. Hi! <laughs> so what do you do here? I'm an educator here at Kennedy Space Center. So oh. I teach kids all about science, technology, history, a lot of really cool topics. Wow, you must know a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is this? Uh, this is actually a 3D model of the International Space Station, the ISS. ISS, okay, so that stands for International mm -hmm. Space Station. 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 You got ISS. it. ISS. Cool. Oh, yeah. Now, it's really, really big. It's about as big as a football field. Whoa, that is really, really big. Yeah. And what's this long part in the middle here? So the long part in the middle is called the truss segment. Oh, the truss. OK. Yeah. And what does that do? So that holds the things like the solar panels, a lot of cool instruments and experiments. The astronauts usually just live in the middle. Uh -huh. They don't usually go out there all that often. Why would they need to go out there? Well, sometimes you gotta repla uh, repair stuff or replace things. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now, something we also have that's really, really cool here is a simulator that'll kind of show you how astronauts actually train to go out there. Really? Yeah. Could I try? Totally. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> Whoa, Daniel, what's all this? So these are all our tools and equipment and replacement parts that we're going to use in our simulator. Wow, that's going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. What's all in here? So there's tons of different things. We have different wrenches and different mm -hmm. equipment. One that's very important that you're going to use today is this one right here. Oh, hey, it looks like the letter T. Yeah, that's actually where it gets its name. It's called the T-handle wrench. Oh, makes sense. T-handle wrench. Oh, OK. Yeah. We actually have a bigger version of that. It's this one right here. Whoa, and look at this. It looks like the letter L. And that's what its name is, L handle wrench. Oh, L handle wrench. Works out. Easy to remember. Oh, yeah. Oop. This way. There you go. You got it. OK. Now, we're just going to use this little one today. But we have other things that we can use to replace stuff. We have something right here called a dust environment. This Ooh. one is to try to capture micrometeorites and particles in space and dust and debris. Wow. We have this little one right here. It's an electronics module. It's huh. for computers and stuff like that. Looks complicated. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to give you an easy one to deal with. It's called a vibration detection system. Whoa, what does that do? Careful, it's very heavy, okay? okay? So that detects if the station shakes or shimmies or anything kind of crazy like that. And that so would be very, bad? Yes, okay. it would be very bad. Okay, so this okay. is super important. Yes. Okay. So what's gonna happen is that when I put you in the chair, okay, mm -hmm. we're gonna find that on the truss, uh -huh. and then you're gonna replace it. Wow, cool, okay, yeah. I can't wait. And I'm gonna give you this little one uh -huh. to replace it. We can test it right now so you get a little better understanding before we go. Okay, okay? let's test it out. So you're gonna grab onto that. Uh -huh. Okay. Now when you put it inside, it's kind of like a screwdriver. Okay. You put it in and push it straight down. There you go. Okay. And then you're gonna turn it halfway. Halfway, like that? Yep, there you go. Okay. Now when you do that, it's gonna come out and it's gonna fall down. Okay, So good make to sure know. not to let it fall on you, okay? okay. Then I'm gonna give you the new one. You're gonna give me the old one. Okay. Okay. And then when you put the new one in, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna push and half turn. The other way? Yep. Ah. And then that new one will be in place and you've replaced something. Oh, awesome. Okay, well, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs>
All right, buckling in. Oh, the seatbelt is very much like the one you would use on an airplane. Yeah, exactly. Okay, nice okay. and tight. Now, you're in our microgravity chair. This is what we're gonna use to kind of simulate our spacewalk. Yeah, that's right, okay. microgravity. And for a spacewalk, you use your hands, not your feet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, I want you to have your head all the way back against like that little okay. pillow. Okay, I'm gonna rock you back. It's gonna feel like being in a dentist chair. Ooh, okay. okay. So, rocking you back. Okay. All right. Feel okay? Yeah, nice and cozy. You ready? Yeah. Okay, starting in three, two, one. Now it's really loud, Ooh, okay? Yeah, it's a little loud. Yeah. Now I'm gonna push you underneath. Whoa. Okay. Now you can reach your arms up. Okay. Okay. And I want you to catch the truss. There you go. So got you got it. it. Now you can try moving up and down. Okay. Just use your arms though, remember, no feet. Ooh. Yep, so you're at the bottom. Now try moving all the way up to the top. Ooh. Notice how easy it is to move? Yeah, yeah, it's really fun. Yeah. Cool. And it feels like I'm floating. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, I want you to come right here to station 108. Okay? 108. Because we got oh. a job to do, not just having fun, okay? Yeah, here it is, 108, ready for my job. Yeah, so we're gonna replace this instrument right here, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna give you some tools, remember? <laughs> this is awesome. I'm working on the truss like a real astronaut. <laughs> so do you see the old vibration unit in front of you? Yep. I'm gonna give you the T-handle wrench. Okay. And you're gonna take it out. Remember, don't let it fall on you. All right. Okay, so push yeah, up. Yeah, this needs to be replaced. Good thing I'm here. I am very good at replacing these old things. Ugh. There you go. Old one's out. Next. I'll take the old one. <laughs> Here's the new one. Okay. Okay. Whoop, you turn it around. You got it. Okay, that goes there. Yep. Okay. Right there, push it in. Push Whoop. it straight up. Turn your handle wrench a little tiny bit more to the right. Okay. A little bit more. Okay. There you go. Now And then talking. let go. And you're all good. All right there, buddy. That one's good to go. Perfect. <laughs> I'll take the wrench back. All right. Okay. But hey, we finished our job. Awesome. Good job. I'm going to get you out of the chair, okay? Okay. So. Whoa. Stay right there. You can let go. Okay. okay. You're floating away from the station. Oh, no. Bye. <laughs> Wow, oh, I could take a nap in this chair. Well, you you can now that you've done your job, okay? <laughs> but bringing you back down to Earth. Three, Ready? two, one. Welcome oh, back. That was a quick ride. Oh, yeah. Hello, Earth. Okay. And there you ah, go. Thank you so much for letting me experience that. Yeah, no problem. That was really cool. So I got to feel what it would be like to do a spacewalk. Now I want to know what it feels like to travel to Mars. To Mars? Do you have that here? We do. Really? Yeah. Oh, can we do it? Totally. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Uh, come on. So come on over this way. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Oh, yeah. Come on. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Look over there. It says Lander Rover Simulator 1. That's so cool. Yeah. So over here, we have a really amazing simulator. Oh, wow! Okay. Yeah. This is gonna show you how you're gonna fly to Mars, how you're gonna land on Mars, and then how you're gonna drive on Mars. <laughs> That's okay. amazing! And remember, yeah. it's a simulation, so it's not real, but it's gonna make me feel like I'm really traveling to Mars. Yeah. Now, we have two different positions, okay? Because whenever we do anything with NASA, we try to have a buddy system. Always oh, okay. have a backup. So okay. two people. Yes, two people. So we have a commander mm -hmm. who's gonna fly the thing. That's uh, you. Yes, okay. okay. And then we have a pilot who's gonna drive it. In this oh. case, it's a robot, so you're okay. Wow, so you yeah. fly there, land, and then you can drive? Yeah. That's so cool. Right? Do you wanna go inside? Yes, I do. Okay, so right. head on down the stairs. Okay. okay. And then you're gonna sit in this seat right here. Okay? Oh. There you go. Whoa. It's cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, we're gonna make sure you're as safe as possible. Okay. Okay. So if you look up above, you probably notice something very similar. Oh, yeah. It looks like a seat that you would sit in on a roller coaster. 
Yeah, exactly, okay? We wanna make sure you're as safe as possible. Okay, that's okay. good. Okay, so I'm gonna lock you in. Okay. Okay, what I want you to do, put your arms up and you're about to go on a roller coaster. Okay. Okay. And then, the restraints are gonna come down. There okay. you go. Nice and secure. All good? Feel yeah. safe? Okay. Now, what's gonna happen is when I close this door, we're gonna start the simulator and you're gonna fly and do all the cool stuff on Mars. Okay, okay. awesome. You ready? Yes, I'm so ready. Awesome, okay. So I'm gonna close the door now. All Bye. right, see you soon. I'm going to Mars. <laughs> Whoa! Wow! It really feels like I'm getting ready to go to Mars! <laughs> this is amazing! Oh, here I go! Welcome back. That was amazing. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? You did wow. a great job. Thank you. Now I'm gonna get you out of there, okay? okay. So first things first, the restraints. We're gonna raise those up, okay? There you go. Whoa. Good job. Okay. And you come on out this way. Be very Whoa. careful though. <laughs> you can use the handrail, yeah. That was wild. Did you see me flip upside down? <laughs> Whoa. You okay? Yeah, I'm good, I'm okay. good. <laughs> so is that what it feels like to land on Mars and then drive on Mars? A little bit, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a good wow. simulation, right? Yeah, that was really fun. Thanks for letting me experiment oh, with no that. Oh, no problem, yeah. So for that, you got to drive to our Mars Base 1 in uh -huh. the simulation. Yep. Do you want to see our simulated Mars base that we actually have here? Oh yeah, that's last on my list. Awesome. All right. Want to go? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> cool, come on. Come on over this way. Whoa. <laughs> wow. So welcome to our Mars Base One Botany Lab. Oh, thank you. I've never been in a space like this before. Yeah, do you like it? Yeah, it's very cool. Lots of plants in here. Yeah, we have tons of different varieties of plants because we want to see what types of things we could grow on Mars. Oh, why would you want to see what can grow on Mars? That's a really good question. So if we're going to go to Mars, like we plan to do, so we can work and do scientific experiments, mm -hmm. we got to test what we could have to eat on Mars. Because we can't oh. bring all the food we're gonna take there. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now, growing on Mars is really difficult. It's not like Earth. Oh. Yeah. Is there not dirt on Mars? Well, there's dirt on Mars, but when it comes to Mars, it doesn't have the right things that plants need to grow. Oh. So, do you happen to know what things plants need to grow? Yeah. They need light and water and dirt or soil packed with nutrients and you need the right temperature. Yeah, so they need tons and tons of stuff and it's all very specific yeah. to the type of plant. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to Mars, it has dirt, but there's no nutrients in it. Oh. So if I just went outside and grabbed any old dirt, it's not really gonna simulate how well it works on Mars. Oh, well what does it feel like? What's the dirt feel like on Mars? Well, I have a really good example. So this is oh. some of the stuff that we use. Oh, cool. It's a simulation of what Martian dirt or soil is like. So this isn't really from Mars? No, it's not really from Mars. Huh. Look at this. Whoa. Kind of feels like a bunch of little rocks or little pebbles. Yeah. Huh. So it's like a lot of clay and iron. It's not good for plants, sadly. So we have to add in nutrients, plant food, so that way they can grow a lot easier. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Now, like I was saying, we've grown tons of stuff in here. Yeah, I can uh, tell. We've grown things like lettuces and even tomatoes. <gasps> I love tomatoes! Wow, can you imagine eating a tomato that grew on Mars? <laughs> it's wow. super cool, right? Yeah. 
Now, other things that we've grown I wanna show you are some of our peas. So come on over this way. So these are some of the peas that we've actually grown. We've tested different types of plants, but we also wanna test how those plants grow in different conditions. Okay. So some of the things you mentioned before of growing include water. We have water in the trays, that helps them grow. All right. And then we have some nutrients in some of the arcelite, the dirt in there. Mm -hmm. And then we have different types of light even. Oh, different types of light. Oh, yeah, it does look different. Yes, yeah, so you can put your hand underneath. So down here we have like this weird purple magenta. Ooh, I love purple. Yeah. <laughs> it's got red and blue little lights. And then up here on top, we have oh. some white light with it. It's a little bit different. Yeah, it looks very different. Yeah. So we want to test how the plants grow in different light conditions. Oh, like these plants up top are growing a lot higher than these plants here on the bottom. Yes. So hey, we know now for the peas to use more of these lights rather than these ones. Oh, just always experimenting. Yeah, and you can even see some of the ones that we've Whoa. kept growing even longer. They're super, super high because they have that nice light. See, they're growing towards the light? Yeah. Wow, they really like this light. Yeah, yeah. Wow, well, thank you so much for teaching me all about space and what it would feel like to land and drive on Mars and spacewalk and now Mars base? Yeah. <laughs> You've been awesome, thank you. Thank you. Well, have a good day. I'll You're see fine. you around. Bye. Thanks, Daniel. Let's go. Wow, we did everything on my list. What a great day. We got to experience a spacewalk, experience landing and driving on Mars, <laughs> and we got to go to Mars base. Wow, space is so amazing. Thanks for learning with me today. <laughs> well, that's the end of this mission and the end of this video. But if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. <gasps> Will you spell my name with me on Mars? <laughs> okay, M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Oh. I gotta go, that's my ride. Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. I'm here at Raymond Alf Museum in Claremont, California, where they have dinosaurs. I need your help. I hear they have a baby Parasaurolophus here named Joey. That looks just like this one. She lives here at the museum and I can't wait to meet her. What? She's right behind me? Where? Oh, you're right, that was her. Let's follow her and learn about other dinosaurs too. Maybe we'll meet some new dino friends. Come on. Wow, check out these fossils. <laughs> Fossils are the bones of animals that lived a long, 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 long time ago. The study of ancient life through fossils is called paleontology. And scientists study fossils in order to tell us more about animals and not just dinosaurs either. They studied all kinds of fossils, like this one right here. Check it out. It's a giant alligator that lived seven million years ago. Whoa, that's a long time ago. Okay, alligator, I'll see you later. Let's go find some other dinosaur fossils. Come on. Whoa, check it out. A Tyrannosaurus Rex. Did you know the T-Rex is my favorite dinosaur? What's your favorite dinosaur? <laughs> awesome. In fact, I always keep a little T-Rex with me wherever I go. <laughs> Can you pretend to be a T-Rex? <laughs> wow. The Tyrannosaurus Rex is a carnivore, which means they eat meat. They have really sharp teeth for chewing their food. But not all dinosaurs are carnivores, you know? Some are herbivores, which means they eat plants, nuts, and berries. Their teeth are really, really flat for grinding up food. <laughs> awesome! Okay, little buddy, see you later. Whoa! 
check out these marine fossils. These animals lived in water. <gasps> oh, do you see the fish? Let's count them. One, two, two fish. <gasps> Let's count the ammonite shells too. Ready? One, two, two shells. Awesome counting. <gasps> oh, and check it out. This is a fossilized sea turtle, an ancient one from millions of years ago. <gasps> Let's count its flippers. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, four. Four flippers. <laughs> Let's pretend to swim, 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 just like a sea turtle. <gasps> Whoa, check it out. This dinosaur is huge. Does this look like a Parasaurolophus? Uh, no, he doesn't have the crest on his head. Let's see what this dinosaur is called. Oh, this is an Allosaurus. <laughs> cool, it has a really long tail. That's so it can balance when it's running and walking. Oh, and look at its fingers. Whoa, let's count them. One, two, three, <laughs> three fingers. Oh, and check out his sharp teeth. Did this dinosaur eat meat or plants? That's right, it's a carnivore because it has sharp teeth. Awesome job, friend. Okay, let's go find more dinosaur friends. Here we go. Check it out. We made it to the Hall of Footprints. I wonder if, oh, look, it's baby Joey. Let's see if we can catch up to her. Go! Joey? Joey? Huh, we must have just missed her. Oh, whoa, check out these dinosaur footprints. Hmm. Not much bigger than my foot. <laughs> Ooh, here I come. <laughs> oh, and check out these footprints. Whoa, the reptile that made these must have been really small because the footprints aren't very big. <gasps> check out these footprints. Wow, paleontologists didn't just study bones. They also studied track marks. And this is a mold of a dinosaur footprint. Oh, whoa, it's so big, much bigger than my hand. Oh, I got it. Let's count the dinosaur toes. Most dinosaurs had three toes. Ready? One, two, <laughs> three. Three dinosaur toes. Oh, check it out over here. Some more footprints. But this, it's from a camel, and camels only had two toes. Let's count them. Ready? One, two. <laughs> Come on, let's check out some more footprints. Whoa, do you see those? I bet this is an animal you know. I'll give you a hint. Meow, meow. That's right, it's a cat paw. Let's count the toes. One, two, three, four little cat toes. <laughs> awesome job. I got it. Let's go see if we can do our own archeological dig. <laughs> do you know what this is? It's a dig pit. When we dig inside, we'll find fossils. <laughs> Are you ready for our fossil dig? <laughs> Me too. Wow, this feels a lot like sand. Okay, I'm ready to dig. Dig, 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 dig down deep. Dig, dig, dig. Oh, I wonder what we'll find. Oh, digging is a lot of fun. Oh, I think I got something. Check it out. It's a turtle shell. Awesome. Okay, let's put it in our pretend bowl. Doop. Let's dig over here now. Dig, 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 
digs down deep. Hey, <gasps> <gasps> check it out! A Tyrannosaurus Rex, my favorite dinosaur. And it's orange. Aw, just like one of Blippi's favorite colors. Cool, let's keep digging. Dig, 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 dig down deep. Dig, dig, dig. Oh, what else will we find in here? <laughs> this is cool. I like how it feels on my fingers. Hmm. <gasps> Check it out. Oh, this is a big fossil. Oh, it's a dinosaur egg. <gasps> Whoa, awesome job. I'm still... <gasps> Another fossil! Check it out! It's a T-Rex claw. <laughs> Whoa! I got it. I need my magnifying glass. This helps us see things closer and clearer. Ooh! Whoa! Awesome job, friend! <gasps> Wait, what's that? Sounds like a dinosaur, but it doesn't sound like a T-Rex roar. Let's go check it out. Come on, T-Rex. <gasps> a Parasaurolophus roar doesn't sound like a roar at all. In fact, it sounds like a horn. Check it out. <gasps> Whoa, did you hear that? Let's try to make that sound too. Ready? Um. <laughs> Great job. Let's listen again. Wow. Let's try this one. This is what Joey might sound like. <gasps> that was so cool. Okay, let's keep looking for Joey. Is this the baby Parasaurolophus we've been looking for? <laughs> Let's check. What do you think? <gasps> I think so too, we found Joey. Are you Joey? <gasps> hey, I'm Mika, nice to meet ya. I've been looking for you everywhere. <laughs> do you like to eat plants or meat? <gasps> That's right. Joey is an herbivore. Good, Joey. Can I give you some chip scratches? <laughs> this calls for a 10 second dance party. We did it. We did it. We never ever quit it. We did it. Great job. See you later, Joey. Woo! <laughs> that was so much fun. It was awesome learning all about dinosaurs with you. We did important work digging in a dig pit to find fossils, and we even learned how to talk like a dinosaur. Honk, honk. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, friends, see you later. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Billy Bee's in Anaheim, California. Billy Bee's is an indoor playground, so it's a great place to play and have fun and use our imaginations. Come on. Whoa. Hey, it looks like we're in a town. We could definitely use our imaginations here. <gasps> Wait, this looks like a mailbox. Huh, I actually have something I need to mail. A note for my grandma. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Whoa, come in here. Hey, we could imagine that we're at a grocery store. Yeah, have you ever been to a grocery store before? to pick out some yummy food. Hmm, let's see. Ooh, waffles, that's yummy for breakfast. There's lots of breakfast food here. Cereal. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, cheese crackers. And 
of mini pretzels. Let's go, need to pay for it. <laughs> okay, I'll just bring myself up. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? Cheese crackers, okay. And we have some cereal. Oh, quite a deal. I love this store. Waffle, and pretzels, okay. Looks like it's, oh, only three dollars? Wow. Okay, looks like I can take my snacks and go home. <laughs> oh, it's so fun to use your imagination, right? All right, well, let's keep playing. I wonder what else is in this town. Hmm. Hey, this looks super fun. Oh, come in here. We could imagine that we're in school. Whoa, a clock. So colorful. <laughs> Will you count with me? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, <laughs> nine, 10, 11, 12. <gasps> it looks like it's time for school to start. We better get to class. <clears throat> Everyone settle, settle, settle. Hello, I'm your teacher, Teacher Mika. Okay, today we are going to learn how to count strawberries. Ready, class? <clears throat> A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten strawberries. Good job. <laughs> oh, what's this? Look at this. I see a pattern. Blue, yellow, red. Blue, yellow, red. Blue, yellow. Do you know what's next? That's right. Red. Whoa. <laughs> well, it looks like Class is over, everyone. You deserve a break. Go outside and play. <laughs> All right, how else can we use our imagination? What's this? Oh, interesting. Hmm. Looks like some toy tools and instruments. Hey, these are all things that doctors and nurses use, like a stethoscope. Let's check my heartbeat here. Maybe you would wear this name tag so everyone would know what your name was. Dr. Mika. <laughs> That's cool. And nutritious nibbles for healthy and happy kids. <laughs> That's really funny. Looks like pretend vitamins or something. Oh, have you ever seen a tool like this? Sometimes doctors use something like this to check your reflexes. Let's check my reflexes. <clears throat> All right, usually they hit you in the knee right here. Ready? Whoa! Did you see that? Let me try the other leg. Whoa! <laughs> I have really good reflexes. <laughs> All right, I'll put this back. <sighs> it's so fun playing. I wonder what else they have here. Come on. Whoa! Hey, look over here! Even with basic shapes, you can use your imagination. Like, come down here. This is a my dog house. I have a dog in here. Do you wanna say hi? Okay. Come on out, Rover. Oh, oh. he's sleeping, taking a little nap. Oh, <laughs> hey. And I could pretend that this is a trampoline. Will you bounce with me? Okay. Whoa, whoa. 
This trampoline is awesome! Whoa! <laughs> oh! And we could pretend that this is a mailbox. Oh! I got a note back from my grandma. Dear Mika, thanks for the note. See you next Saturday for our tea party. Oh, <laughs> she's so sweet. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, we could pretend that these blocks are my next door neighbor's house. Let's put some blocks here together to make a house. Whoa, I like this one. Do you know what color this is? Yellow, one of my favorite colors. And it's a one, two, three, four, square. <laughs> nice. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna put it like this. And here's the roof. This is my neighbor's house. I'm just keeping an eye on it while they're on vacation. And ooh, come with me to the rainforest. Maybe we could ride our skateboard through the rainforest. Whoa, this is so fun, whoa! <laughs> whoop, whoop. Whoa, what is this? Maybe we could zip line through the rainforest. Woo! <laughs> and we could pretend like we're worms and dig through the dirt. Here we go! Boom, 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 boom. It's so much fun to use your imagination. Do you want to play some more? All right, let's do it. Over here, look, a circle. Oof, I'm gonna crawl through. Hello, another circle, see? Whoa. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what's down here. Hey, we could imagine that this is a colorful snake or a macaroni necklace. Have you ever made a necklace out of macaroni? <laughs> and I notice a pattern. See, maroon, yellow, maroon, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> yellow. So cool, right? Oh, excuse me. It also kind of looks like ketchup, mustard, Ketchup, mustard. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> hey, I see a yellow slide. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and I think there's one down here too. Yeah, a green slide. Hmm, which slide should I go down? Yellow or green? Yellow or green? <gasps> yellow or green? Hmm, I think green. Hey, will you meet me at the bottom of the slide? All right. See you there. Whoa, <laughs> that was so fun. Hey, let's imagine that these are colorful logs on a rushing river. Okay, let's see if I can get to the top without falling in the water. Can I do it? I got this. I got this. I got this. I did it. <laughs> oh, it's over here. Whoa, check this out. Maybe this is a big vine that we have to get past, but it's always in the way. Whoa. <laughs> Come on. Hey, look. More logs on the river. Bottom, bottom. Whoa! <laughs> this is so cool. Come on. More logs. Oh, have to be careful. It's going down the water. <laughs> oh, I see another big vine. We're coming for you, vine. Whoa! <laughs> Pretty good, huh? <laughs> What else is over here? Oh, I see something. I have to go get it. Goodbye! <laughs> I had so much fun with you today at Billy B's. It was really cool using our imaginations 
Remember, we pretended to go to school, pretended to be doctors, we went to the grocery store. Oh, I wrote a letter to my grandma and she wrote back right away. <laughs> I had such a good time moving my body and playing. Thank you so much for learning with me today. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> All right, I'll see you next time. Oh, bye. <laughs>in Los Angeles, California. And here, you can adopt a dog or a cat, and then they can be part of your family. Oh, there's a dog right there. Oh, hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Megan. Hi, Megan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, this is Willow. Oh, hi, Willow. Oh, it's always important to ask before you pet an animal. Uh, can I pet Willow? Yes, you can. Okay. So just crouch down so you're on her level uh -huh. and put your fist out so she can hey. smell you. Willow, Willow. What do you think? Aww. <laughs> so sweet. Well, are there more animals inside? There are. Oh, let's go check them out. So what is this little one's name? This is Sprout. <gasps> Sprout, what a cute name. Hi, Sprout. I have some treats for Sprout. Is Sprout allowed to have a treat? Yes, he okay. is. Let's see, you want a treat? You think Sprout likes treats? <laughs> Aw. Can we bring Sprout down to the ground and yeah. see if Sprout will want to play with us? Aw. Whoa, cool squeaky toy. It's a pink snake. <laughs> so once someone adopts an animal, what do they need to take care of the animal? Yeah, so for dogs, they need a leash, a collar, a harness, um, food, bowls, uh, and a lot of toys. Whoa! Food, bowls, toys. It's a lot of work to take care of an animal. They need a lot of things. Oh, and is it different for cats? Yeah, so cats would need um, also food bowls, uh, litter box, litter, um, some good things to scratch on. Oh yeah, cats love to scratch. And a <laughs> safe carrier in case you need to take them to the vet. Oh wow. So you get a lot of things once you would adopt an animal here. Yes. Yes, we give people some of the food that they've been eating, um, some toys. And where do you get all of these toys? They have so many fun things to play with here. We get a lot of it donated. Oh, people yeah? have extra supplies, they donate them to us, and yeah, it's a big help for us. Whoa, what a great idea to donate toys for these dogs and cats to play with. <laughs> oh, what's this toy? Where did these animals come from? So we rescue these animals from city shelters. Uh, basically, the shelters are crowded with animals, so we take them and find them new homes. Oh, that's really nice. And if someone wants to adopt an animal, what do they do? So we would have them come in and meet some of the animals. They'd fill out an application, and we would help them find the right animal that matches their family. Wow, that's awesome! It's so fun to play with cats and dogs, but it's also important to remember you have to take very special care of them. Whoa, come look at this dog. Whoa, what kind of dog is this? This is an American Bully Mix. American Bully Mix, whoa. This is a bigger dog, aw. And she's so loving, what's her name? Uh, her name is Lady. Hi, Lady. Aww. So, so sweet. What's this? A blue, like a little mouse with a super long tail. <laughs> Aww. This dog is so cool. Ooh, and I love the purple leash. One of my favorite colors. Love your leash. Oh, and what's on her belly here? Yeah, so she's definitely had a litter of puppies. Wow, a litter of puppies? That's so cool. How many puppies do you know? Um, I don't, but I think they can have up to 10 puppies. 
Whoa, that's a lot of puppies. Wow. Oh, well, it was nice to meet you. Thanks for playing with us. Melissa's ready for her bandage change. Okay, great. Aww. Hi. So what room is this? So this is our medical treatment area. Oh, a medical treatment area. So this is where animals go to be taken care of if they're sick or they have, maybe they hurt themselves. What's wrong with her leg? So we rescued her with a broken leg. Aww. And yeah, now she has a cast on and she's healing. Oh, good. That must mean she's feeling better. She definitely is. Yeah, I can hear some purring in there. She's purring really loud. Yeah, cats purr when they're in a great mood, right? Aww. And why is she wearing a big yellow flower? She looks super cute, and yellow is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> so that's an e collar, and it keeps her from taking her bandage off. Oh, that's so smart and super cute. <laughs> Are there other cats that we can see? There are. Oh, let's go see some more cats. Feel better. Cool. Welcome to the catio. Get it? Cat, patio, it's the catio. <laughs> now they said that there are a lot of cats in here. Hmm, will you help me find them? <laughs> awesome. Okay, whoa, look at all this. It kind of looks like something you would see at a playground. The cats can climb up here and they can scratch. <laughs> Come over here. Shh. I see a cat. Can you see it? Oh, it's sleeping. We found our first cat. Good job. Hmm. Oh. There's another cat over here. You see it? Hi, cat. That cat looks really soft. <laughs> and there's another cat. Hi, kitty. Wow, so we found one, two, three cats so far. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Do you see any other cats? <gasps> Come down here, all the way to the floor. There are two cats in there. They're cuddling. I wonder if they're best friends. Oh. Hi. They're so cute. So we have one, two, three, four, five cats so far. I wonder if there's any more. Oh, wow. There's some water and some food in here. They take really good care of their cats. Hmm. Oh, look down here at these little boxes. See some blankets in here so the cats can be nice and comfy cozy. Oh, and look, it's a cutout of a cat face. That's cool. I don't see any cats though, do you? Hmm. Oh, I see one right here. Oh my goodness. Shh. This cat is taking a cat nap. Wow, it looks really comfortable. I wonder if cats have dreams. Hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six cats. We found six cats. Thanks for finding cats with me. I wonder what else is here. Come on. Check it out! I'm in a cat room! This is where all the cats are hanging out, relaxing like this one. Whoa, hi, I'm Mika. This room is so cool. There's a tree in here. Whoa. I bet the cats like to scratch on the tree. Maybe they scratch their back on there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoa, and cool thing is to climb on. Look, a little cat toy, a little mouse. <laughs> what else is over here? Whoa, do you know what this is? This long yellow tube? The cats can climb up here and then climb through the tube. 
Maybe you've done something like that at a playground before? They must have so much fun here. And in each little cubby is where the cat can go and have a little nap. Any cats in here? Oh, there's a cat in there. I didn't even know that. Hi. Oh, there's two cats in there. I don't know if you can see. There's two cats just hanging out. Oh, a teddy bear. I wonder if cats like to cuddle with stuffed animals. That's so sweet. Aw. Well, I have a cat toy. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Let's see if some of these cats want to play with it, okay? Um, <laughs> anyone want to play with me today? What about you? <laughs> this cat's like, Please don't bother me, I'm trying to take a nap right now. Okay, understood, understood. Okay, hey look, there's big bowls of water here because it's important for cats to hydrate, just like us. Hey, something else that they can climb on. And look, these little holes, these little hidey holes that they can just get all comfy. Cats seem to nap a lot. <laughs> hey, Megan. Hey. Oh my goodness! Who I is this? One more friend for you to see. This oh is Memphis. Oh my gosh! Can I hold Memphis? Yes. Oh, look at this little kitten. How old is Memphis? He's eight weeks. Eight weeks? Just a little baby kitten. Wow, Memphis is brand new to the world. Oh, Wait, is Memphis from Memphis? Um, I don't think so. I don't know how we got the name Memphis. Oh, <laughs> it's a super cute name. So Memphis is only eight weeks old. What does Memphis usually do? Um, he plays with his two brothers. <gasps> you have two yeah, brothers? Yeah, two brothers. Oh, that's so fun. Wow, baby kittens are so teeny tiny. Aw, it's so nice meeting you, Memphis. Oh my goodness. You do such a good job taking care of all of these animals. Aw, thank you. Aw. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me hang out with you, Memphis. <laughs> that was so fun! Getting to hang out with dogs and cats today. We learned about how to take care of our pets and adopt them and make them part of our family. Oh, cats and dogs are so cool. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool! M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Well, thanks for learning with me. See you next time. Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Munchkin's Indoor Playground in Los Angeles, California. This place is so awesome because you get to move your body and have a lot of fun and we get to play a game today. Come on! Whoa! This place is amazing! It's slide time! Meet you at the bottom. Whoa! <laughs> that was so fast! Did you see? And I landed in a ball pit! Whoa! Ball pits are so fun! Ooh, and I like all of these colors. Let's see. <gasps> Pink. <laughs> and there's blue. And white. There's so much you can do in a ball pit. You can dance. You could juggle. Whoa, I only know how to juggle two balls. I don't know how to do three yet. I have to keep practicing. <laughs> hey, look over here. Whoa, at the very top, it looks like a big scoop of ice cream or maybe a marshmallow or something. Oh, and there's a cool looking pattern on it. White, blue, white, blue, white, blue, white, blue, all the way around. Oh, I like that. Ooh, let's go inside. Hello. <laughs> oh, this is a fun little space. Hmm. Whoa, 
Look at this. This ball has words on it. Oh, let's read it. Go to the slide for an item to catch and find the play area that looks like it's match. A match, that means that it looks the same. Hmm, hey, looks like we get to exercise our bodies and our minds. <laughs> this is gonna be a really good game for the mind. Hmm, go to the slide. There must be another slide here. Let's go find it. Oh, this has to be the other slide. I wonder what's gonna happen here that will help me play the game. <gasps> Look! Whoa! Have you seen this before? It's a stethoscope. Maybe you've seen one at the doctor's office? Yeah, a doctor will use this to listen to your heartbeat. Oh yeah, nice and healthy. <laughs> I wonder if there's a doctor center around here. Let's go find out. Hmm, I wonder where this stethoscope goes. Oh, look at this cool thing. Oh, hello. Oh, let's look up here. Hmm, I don't think this is where our stethoscope belongs. <laughs> it's really fun though. Whoa, hmm. <gasps> hey look, mini clinic. We found it. This is a doctor's office. The stethoscope definitely belongs there. Come on. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, hello, welcome. Do you have an appointment? You're, oh, yep, you're right there. Come on in. <laughs> Doctors and nurses are so cool and very important. They take care of us and make sure we're feeling nice and healthy. They check your heartbeat, see what kind of tools are in here. Ooh, they'll probably look at your eyes and look inside your ears. <laughs> And sometimes they have you stick your tongue out and say, ah. Ooh, and look, there's some glasses. Ooh, one of my favorite colors too, yellow. And look, you can dress up like a doctor. So official. And a little hat. Whoa, how do I look? Dr. Mika. <laughs> okay, so this is definitely where the stethoscope goes. Okay, let's just clean up and go back to the slide. Come on. I'm so excited to see what the next item is. Here it comes. Whoa. <laughs> Do you know what this is? It's a tomato. Ooh, one of my favorites. Yum. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if there's a grocery store or something here. Let's go look. Whoa. A carousel. Oh, look at this nice orange one. Let's get on. Oh, hello, horsey. I'm Mika. Hmm, I wonder how this thing works. That's not it. Oh, that's it. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Hey, what a cool way to look for a space where the tomato belongs. Hmm, let me know if you see something. <gasps> right there. Market. This is definitely where the tomato belongs. Hey, look down here. More food. Yeah, a supermarket or a grocery store is where you can buy food, like a tomato. Hmm, what are some other red foods? Ooh, what about this red pepper? Yummy. Hmm, oh, here's another red pepper. And, oh, I love this red food, strawberries. <laughs> I'm gonna have a red meal. Hmm, ooh, more strawberries. And an apple. Okay, now I have all of my food. I have to pay for it. Let's go inside. <laughs> Come on, do, 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 do. Okay. All right, let's see. Oh, I guess I can ring up my own items. Hmm. All right, bell pepper. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, interesting. <laughs> strawberries. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> okay. More strawberries. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, now we're cooking. Pepper. Beep, beep, beep. Ooh. Apple. Beep, beep, beep. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And tomato. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, yeah. Now we're groovy. 
and how am I gonna pay for this food? I don't know, but I'm in a good mood. <laughs> oh, it looks like I have a credit card here. Let's see, my grand total is $6. Okay, let's see. Okay, that worked. All right, don't need any change. I think I'm done here. <laughs> okay, so the tomato is with the food. Good job matching with me. Hey, let's go back to the slide and see what else comes down. Come on. I'm having so much fun. I wonder what the next item will be. Whoa, look at this. A firefighter helmet. Yeah, firefighters will wear a helmet like this to protect their heads when they're fighting fires. Huh, I wonder what kind of area would have a firefighter helmet. <laughs> Let's go find out. Whoa, did you find where the firefighter helmet belongs? <laughs> Good job, looks like a match. See, there's a fire truck and firefighters drive fire trucks to where the fire is to put it out and save the day. <laughs> this is a really cool truck. Oh, see the big ladder and ooh, a walkie talkie. Firefighter Mika here, over. Yes, that is correct, everything is fine here. Yes, have a good day. Okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and look, here's where the siren is so people know that a fire truck is on the way. It sounds like something like that. <laughs> okay, let's see, I'll put this firefighter helmet here that way, if someone wants to play, they can be the driver and wear the firefighter helmet and look like a real firefighter. <laughs> Let's go back to the slide and see what the next item is. Come on. Yes, so far, so good. And I think there's another item about to come down. <gasps> Whoa, oh, that was fast. Ooh, what is this, Gouda? <laughs> That's kind of cheese, one of my favorites. <laughs> oh, do you know what letter that is? It's the first letter of the alphabet. <laughs> That's right, the letter A. Hmm, I wonder if there are more letters around here. Let's go look. Okay, I have the letter A. I wonder if there are any other letters around. Hmm. <gasps> I see letters in there. Let's go inside. <gasps> Whoa, it's a trampoline. <laughs> All right, let's see. I have the letter A, and there's B, C, D. This is definitely where the letter A goes. Hey, I know what we could do. We could think of an animal that begins with the letter A, and then we could act it out. <laughs> hmm, I have one. Ant eater. <laughs> Can you act like an ant eater? They do, in fact, eat ants. They have really long nose and mouth, and they go around and they look for ants. Any ants over here? Nom, 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 nom. Any ants over here? Nom, 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 nom. Hey, give me that ant back. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> oh, and the next letter, the letter B. Ooh, I know one. A bat. Let's act like bats together. Bats begin with the letter B. Spread your wings and fly like a bat. Or jump, whoa, kind of feels like I'm flying for real. <laughs> and the letter C. Cat begins with the letter C. Hmm, how can we act like cat? Get your little paws out and meow, 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 meow. Whoa, calm down cat, calm down cat. What about the letter D? The animal starts with the letter D. <gasps> dog! Can you act like a dog with me? Okay. <laughs> Good job! Now you can just jump and bounce and have, whoa, fun! <laughs> Begins with the letter B. <laughs> Let's go back to the slide and see if there are any more items. Come on. Whoa, these slides are so cool. I wonder if anything else will slide down. 
Oh, look, it's one of the ball pit balls. I wonder if we need to go to the other ball pit. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> oh yeah, we definitely need to go to the other ball pit. Let's go. Okay, let's go find that ball pit. Come on. Whoa, a big white slide. Oh, I have to go down. Ready? Three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> that was so fast. Do you see the ball pit? It's behind me. Whoa, let's find a fun way to get into it. <laughs> Hello. Whoa, look at this. It's a big slide. All right, I'm going down. See you at the bottom. Whoa! <laughs> I love that there are two ball pits in this indoor playground. Whoa! Oh, we just swim on over. <laughs> Whoa! This is so fun. And this is definitely where the white ball belongs. There you go. <laughs> Hey, look at this wall. See the two colors, pink and blue? And it makes a pattern, see? Pink, blue, pink, blue. Do you know what the next color is? <laughs> That's right, pink. Hey, look at that little car. It's so cute. And there's three more ball pit balls. There's a pink one, and a white one, and a blue one. <gasps> and there's words on this one. Let's see. You've finished the game, now count all you've done, then go down the slide for some extra fun. <gasps> Whoa, that means we finished the game. We did it, we did it, we really, really did it. Oh, awesome. Okay, it says count all you've done. Do you remember the items that we found? Okay, we found the stethoscope, the tomato, the firefighter helmet, the letter A, and a ball pit ball. Will you count the items with me? <laughs> Great. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. And then it says, go down the slide for some extra fun. <laughs> Well, let's go down the slide. Come on. Yes, now it's my turn to go down the slide. Will you count down with me? Okay, three, two, one. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> wow, that was so much fun. Hey, we figured everything out. We did it. We did it. We did it. Oh, yeah, we did it. Let's go. High five. <laughs> nice job. Thank you so much for helping me with that matching game. We exercise our minds by figuring out which play center matches which item, and we exercise our bodies by running around this indoor playground. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, and thank you for learning with me. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Montebello Barnyard Zoo in Montebello, California. And I heard they have animals here and a fairy village. <laughs> so I'm going to be a fairy and grant wishes to any animals or fairies I see. I have my fairy wings on and my magic fairy wand. Will you help grant wishes with me? Awesome! Hmm, let's go find that fairy village. <laughs> hey, horsey, I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> We're looking for fairies. <gasps> hey, should we grant this horse a wish? <laughs> yeah! Okay, I need some space. Mika's here with the plan. Your fairy wish is my command. <laughs> Look, horse food. <laughs> here you go, horsey. Your wish is granted. <laughs> okay, see ya. 
haven't seen any fairies yet, but check it out. Goats! Hello, goats. I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> Ooh, did you know goats have four stomachs? <laughs> yeah, that's why they're so hungry. <laughs> Do you know where the fairies are? Okay, let's keep going east. Bye, goats! Haven't found those fairies yet. <gasps> oh, but I have a great idea. Check it out! A tractor! <gasps> let's go on a ride to the fairy village. Hey, I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> Can you take me east to the fairy village? Yep. Great! Come on, let's take a seat. This looks like a great seat for a tractor ride. <gasps> oh, here we go! Whoa! There's so many animals. Hi, llamas! Oh, look! There are three llamas. <laughs> they look so cozy in all that fur. <gasps> oh, and look! An emu! That's a flightless bird from Australia. <laughs> Whoa, it's a bumpy ride. <laughs> oh, and look, some horses. Hello, horse. <gasps> look, a merry-go-round. Oh, that looks like so much fun. Okay, hocus focus, we're looking for fairies. That could be pretty fun. Maybe later. I think we're getting closer to the fairy village. Oh, I can't wait to meet so many fairies. Finally made it to the fairy village. We did it, we did it. We never ever quit it. We did it. <laughs> Great job. Whoa, check it out. Look at this. Oh, it's a little forest for fairies. And look, a table and chair for their yummy lunches. Oh, and they got lots of fresh fruits and vegetables. <laughs> Oh, and a bridge over glittery water. And a squirrel. <laughs> Hello, squirrel. Let's keep exploring. Whoa. Look, a door. Hmm, I wonder where it leads. Let's knock on it. Knock, knock, knock. Is anybody home? <laughs> oh, just a little gnome. Hello. <laughs> Oh, and look, more fairies. Hello, little fairies. I'm Mika, nice to meet you. <laughs> Since you're always doing so much for people, like sprinkling fairy dust and collecting teeth and gems, do you need anything? <gasps> oh, you would like a home? <laughs> Lucky for you, I'm really crafty. I know just what you need. Mika's here with a plan. Your fairy wish is my command. <laughs> Coming right up. <laughs> Let's go. <gasps> we need to build our fairies a little home. <gasps> hmm. I have just the trick. Mika's here with a plan. Your every wish is my command. <gasps> Whoa! Look at this house. This is a perfect house for a fairy. Are you ready to paint our fairy house? <laughs> yeah, me too. Wow, there are so many colors for us to choose. Blue, green, like grass, pink, purple, and yellow. And check it out. My two favorite colors are together. We should definitely start with those. Grab my paintbrush. Oh, do you know what this color is? <laughs> That's right, pink. Dip it in water first and dip it in the purple paint. 
This will be such a cozy home for the fairies. I hope they like it. <laughs> okay, let's do yellow next. Yellow, just like the sun. That looks so pretty. <laughs> and bright too. Okay, we got the front. Let's work on the roof. I think I'd like the roof to be blue, just like the sky. Let's do pink with our pink paintbrush. Whoa, we're almost done. Check it out. Oh, such a beautiful fairy home. Let's do the sides now. Hmm, what color haven't we done yet? <gasps> green. Let's put some green on our house. Dip my brush. Check it out. This is such a beautiful, colorful fairy home. <laughs> Let's go see if they love their new house. <laughs> Hello, little fairies. We made you a beautiful, colorful home. <laughs> Hope you like it. What's that? You love it? Oh, that's great news. Do you have everything you need? <gasps> oh, you would like us to help you collect gems? Oh, okay. I got it. Mika's here with the plan. Your every wish is my command. Wow! Great idea. Let's go collect some gems for our fairy friends. See you soon. We made it. <laughs> Let's go get some stones for our fairy friends. <laughs> oh, look. These are the different stones we can find. Amethyst and calcite. Whoa, I wonder how many stones we'll find. Ooh, water. All right, I have my mining tray. Do you know what this color is? That's right, it's yellow, one of my favorite colors. And it's round, just like a steering wheel. <laughs> this helps us sift through all the dirt. So we get rid of what we don't want, the dirt, and then we get our crystals inside. Ready to give it a try? <laughs> Great. Whoa, check out this dirt. Check it out. <laughs> Look how many gems we got. <gasps> Ooh, I think this one is rose quartz and it's pink. Pretty. <gasps> Check out this one. Wow. <gasps> and this one is black. <laughs> and little. Let's count how many gems we found. Ready? One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven gins for our fairy friends. Let's go give them to our fairy friends. <laughs> Here we go. Don't worry, little fairies. We collected all the gems so you can rest and relax. <laughs> You get a gym, and you get a gym, little froggy. <laughs> and you get a gym, too. <laughs> oh, would you like a gym, too? Okay, I have plenty to share. Oh, I love giving. It makes me feel so happy. <laughs> would you like a gym, too, little gnome? <laughs> okay, there you go. And you get a gym too. Hope you're enjoying your new home. <gasps> oh, check it out. Look at this little fairy. She's taking a nap. <laughs> Let's leave her a crystal for when she wakes up. Sleep tight, little fairy. 
<laughs> that was so much fun being a fairy with you today. We got to pet some animals and feed them lunch. Oh, we got to mine for gems and we paid in a fairy house. <laughs> Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Wait, I forgot to grant one more wish. Mine. Hmm. Oh, I would like to ride this merry-go-round. Mika's here with the plan. Your fairy wish is my command. Bye-bye! <gasps> <gasps> because today we get to meet someone very special, Sean Johnson. <laughs> John is an Olympic gold medal gymnast. Gymnastics is a cool sport where you get to do lots of fun things with your body. It takes a lot of practice, strength, flexibility. <laughs> and Sean is going to show us some cool moves at the Nashville Gymnastics Training Center. I can't hardly wait. Woohoo! Here we go! Woo! <gasps> oh, hi! <laughs> hey, Sean, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. It's so great to meet you. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Will you show us some gymnastics? I would love to, but first we need to stretch and warm up to stay safe. Oh, right, because yes. first things first, safety first. Yes. So let's stretch your arms first, just kind All of right. across. Arms first. Yes. <laughs> How old were you when you started doing gymnastics? I actually started gymnastics when I was two years old. Whoa. I came into the gym and I just got to run around and I loved it. Oh, that sounds so yes. fun. Yes, it's kind <laughs> of like a playground, mm -hmm. but it's really soft and cushy, so you can do a lot of flips and stuff and stay safe. Oh, that's so yes. important. Let's stretch our legs next, right okay, here. Sean. So grab the back, it takes some balance though. Whoa, you're really good at balancing. Yes, how a lot of practice. Yes, yeah. how often did you practice? So when I started at the age of two, I only went for like one hour, one time a week. But as I got older and I got better at it, I kind of went more and more hours. Wow. Um, because it takes a lot of practice to go to the Olympics. It really does. Yes. Yeah. And how many Olympic medals do you have? I have four Olympic medals. Oh. I have a gold on the balance beam, and I have a silver on the floor, and on the team, and on the all-around. Whoa! <laughs> yes. What are the differences between the medal colors? Yes, so the gold is number one. It's like the first place, and silver <laughs> is number two, second place. Nice. Yes. And then there's another one too, right? There's a bronze, which is third place. And did you ever lose? I did, a lot. I lost a lot of competitions, but I actually liked it better. Whenever I would make mistakes, it was so rewarding to come mm. back into the gym and work on it and get better and like feel good inside. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. It's okay if you make mistakes. It's just an opportunity for growth. Yes. Okay, so let's sit down a little bit and stretch a little bit more before we get started. Okay, <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Oh, it's okay to be nervous. I get nervous a lot. You do? Yes. What do you do when you get nervous? I practice so that I feel more confident. I trust myself and I say, I can do this. Mm. And I ask my coach if I'm ready. I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> now lean forward a little bit. Put your feet out in front of you. And touch your toes. Touch those toes. <laughs> I do think we're ready to get started. Oh, yay! Are you excited? I'm so excited. Okay, let's go do it. Here we go. <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, that was so cool. <laughs> Thank you. Can you teach me something on the beam? I can, but first we're gonna start on the low beam and progressively work our way here. Great idea. Okay. Progressively means we take it one step at a time. Yes. Until you feel comfortable and much better. So we're gonna start at this end of the beam. Okay. <laughs> 
And you're gonna step up here. Okay, here we go. So the key to gymnastics is keeping all of your muscles squeezed as tight as possible. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That helps us not fall off the beam. Right. If you do fall off the beam, it's okay. We'll just right. get back up and try again. Do you ever fall? I fall a lot, but with practice, you get more confident and better at your skills, so you fall less. Right. Okay, so arms will go straight out to the side. You can, I think you got this one. Oh, thanks. You're going to kind of look right down at the beam to mm -hmm. make sure you walk in a straight line. Okay. And we're just going to walk forward. Okay. Walk one, one two, two, three, three, four, four. Okay, nice. now we're going to walk backwards. Oh, that sounds tricky. So the thing with this is you're going to feel for the beam and then plant your foot. Make sure you look down. Feel for the beam. For the plant. Beam. And you're going to go back till you feel the end of the beam. Okay. And when you feel the end, you're going to stop. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> Keep feeling. Keep feeling. <gasps> there you are. Yay, I'm ready to the end. <laughs> so now we're going to do flamingo walk. Okay. You're going to take a step. Hmm. Flamingo. Flamingo. Step. Flamingo. Ska, ska. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there flamingo. we go. Step, flamingo. <laughs> Step, flamingo. Now, in gymnastics, we yes. always like to be barefoot uh -huh. because being able to feel the beam with our bare feet helps us have more control. It's Probably safer. Probably makes it less slippery, too. Yes. So, one more. Flamingo. Good job. <laughs> okay, next skill, we're going to try a scale. Uh huh. I don't know why they call it this, but it's just the name. You're going to take your dominant side, which is usually the same side of your body, you write with. My right hand side. Yes, and for some reason, I think one side of your body is just usually stronger. So we Ooh. favor that in gymnastics. Okay. So you take your dominant side, mm -hmm. lean forward, arms out, and scale down. Whoa! And scale back up. Scale down. <gasps> and scale back up. Good job! <laughs> that takes a lot of strength and a lot of balance. Mm-hmm. Okay, last one, are you ready? I'm ready. So with this one, we're actually gonna do a jump. <gasps> Whoa. Now, for all the kids watching, make sure you always have a coach with you and you don't do anything your coach doesn't say is safe for you. Okay. Okay. Is but it I safe, think you're Sean? ready. I think you're ready okay. for this. Coach says we're ready. <laughs> so when you jump, you wanna squeeze all your muscles super tight. You're gonna go down, jump, down. So okay. bend, straight, bend. And squeeze all those muscles together. Okay. Make sure you look at the beam too. There we go. Ready? Here we go. Whoa! It's okay. We can try it again. Count to ten and try again. <gasps> Will you count to ten with us? Oh, great. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And okay. try again. Okay, here we go. Remember, squeeze your muscles, mm -hmm. squeeze all everything together, and I think you got this one by yourself. Are you ready? Okay. Make sure you look at the beam. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Good job! Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think you're ready for the big beam. <gasps> okay, let's try the big beam. Let's go. Woohoo! So, with the big beam, I personally think the hardest part is just climbing up. So I'll help you climb up, and then I can hold your hand through the whole thing. Okay, it's really tall. I know. But it might feel tall, but nothing's changed. It's the same beam as down there, mm -hmm. and you are so confident and strong, I know you can do it up here. Thanks, Dad. Let's do it. <laughs> this is tricky. Whoa! Does it feel a little higher? Yeah, I feel a little nervous. It's okay, remember, tell yourself, I can do this, take a deep breath, and know that your coach, myself, <laughs> believes you can do it too. I can do this. <sighs> deep breaths. And make sure if you're at home, you don't try any of this without a coach or without a gym, because safety is definitely first. Mm -hmm. Most Good important. Job. Okay, you've kind of mastered the forward walking. Let's try the backward. Okay. <laughs> okay, look at the beam, squeeze all your muscles, feel, feel your behind you and plant your foot. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Let's take two more steps. Okay. One. One. 
Hit. Two. Okay. Are you ready for your flamingos? Yes. Okay, let's try four this time. Four flamingos. Yeah. Here we go. One, two, three, four flamingos. Good job. Spa, spa, hey. spa. <laughs> Are you ready for your jump? I'm ready. Okay, so Whoa. here, I'm actually gonna get on the beam with you and okay. help you with your jump. So, what we're gonna do, I'll show you, you feel my hands. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a small jump, keep every muscle really tight, just like that. I'm gonna hold your hands, you use me for balance. You're gonna squeeze everything together, go down, jump, down, and you're good. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, make sure you look at the beam. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Whoa! Good job! <laughs> that was really good. That was fun. You wanna try one more? Yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <gasps> good job! <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Oh, I think you've shot. mastered the beam. Do you wanna to go to the floor? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that beam was so fun! I was so proud of you. You did such a good job. Oh, thank you, Sean. <laughs> and the medal goes to... <gasps> Mika! <laughs> so, now that we're on the floor, I thought I could teach you another new skill. Oh, great! But first, can you do a cartwheel? Oh, yes. I love doing cartwheels. Do you mind showing me your cartwheel? I'd be happy to. Okay, let's see it. <laughs> That's a really good cartwheel. <laughs> Thank Since you, you already know how to do a cartwheel, <laughs> mm -hmm. how about we take the next step and we learn a round off? Sounds great, a okay. round off? A round off is like a cartwheel, but instead of landing one foot at a time, you put your feet together. Whoa. Yeah, it's a foundational skill in gymnastics that you learn before you learn all the big flips, like flips and tricks. Oh, yes, yes. that sounds great. Okay, so I'll show you first. Uh huh. The cartwheel, just like you did, is pretty simple like this. Mm -hmm. One foot after another. So what you're going to do is, when you're upside down, your uh -huh. feet will come together and land together. Kind of like this. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> and this might sound silly, but the floor, you want to push it away as hard as you can. Okay. That's what kind of gives you that speed to kind of jump off the floor. All right. Okay, are you ready to try one? Sure. I'll Let's give, give it, it a, a shot. It's okay if we make mistakes. We'll work on it. That's true. That's what I learned on the beam. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, here I go. Whoa. <laughs> Good job. Good job. So we also want to try to keep our legs as straight as we can. Okay. And a little trick for that is if you point your toes as hard as you can, your legs will naturally straighten. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's try one more time. Sure. That was a lot better. Oh, Yay! Good. I'm so proud of you again. That's another <laughs> new skill. Thank you so much, Sean. <laughs> of course. That was awesome. Good job. <laughs> <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> that was so cool. Thank you. Do you think I could do that someday? I think with a lot of practice and hard work, you definitely could. Oh, thank you for showing me all those skills. You did such a good job on the beam, on the floor. I was really proud of you. Oh yeah, we had such a busy day today. We learned how to do <gasps> balancing walks on the beam and skills. <laughs> and we learned how to do a round off at the end of our cartwheels. Yeah. Oh, we also learned that there's a side of your body that's usually stronger than the other side. Yeah. And that's the side we usually use in gymnastics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Can you spell my name with me? S-H-A-W-N, Sean! <laughs> Bye, friends! Oh, I'd like to keep practicing, please. Me too. <laughs>